guys, so I'm going to do the reverse smoky eye. That's why I have hardly any makeup on. I do have makeup on, but um, it's not eye makeup. So I got a lot of requests to do the smoky eye or the reverse smoky eye when I mentioned it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, just because I was doing it on myself anyway, and I'm like, I'm just going to turn the camera on and film it. Um, I've tried filming tutorials with this camera before. I was either out of frame, it was too bright, it was just random things why I couldn't actually post the video. So I'm hoping this one goes through. I'm going to get you up to speed with some of the products I've already used. Um, I did do my foundation already. I used my normal sunscreen, then I used my anti-aging primer from Corez. The foundation that I use is the CoverGirl Nature Lux because it's fast and easy. And with the smoky eye, I like to keep the skin looking as natural as possible. I don't like heavy coverage with the smoky eye. I feel like that's too much makeup. So I like to keep the foundation light. And then just go in with concealer for my imperfections because I do have many imperfections. Um, CoverGirl Nature Lux is just really easy because you can just whack it on with fingers. It's really fast to blend. Um, and then I use some of my Maybelline Superstay Concealer. This is an ivory. Oh, and if you're wondering what shade I am, I'm the lightest shade. That scared me. Sorry about that. Um, I'm in number 305. Uh, where's the name? I guess it's just 305. Oh, Alabaster. Anyway, that's a good foundation. And then my Maybelline Superstay, really great. I just used it along my cheeks where I have the highest pigmentation, which is my acne scarring. Haven't used it under my eyes yet. I'm going to be doing that later. Don't mind the get up. It's my pajamas right now. Um, and I haven't done my hair, so this is, I'm looking really attractive right now. I did set all that first with my, um, Mineralize Skin Finish Natural from MAC with my, um, what is this called? My phone is just going off. <laughs> um, the Miss Taylor Kabuki from Sigma, which is awesome for face powder, and then MAC Lingering Eyebrow through the brows because my eyebrows are really blonde and I need to wear brows. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see better on my eyes and then we'll get started. So I'm really hoping I'm going to be in frame for most of this. Um, I kind of have a mirror set behind the camera, so if I'm like this for some of it, um, I promise I'll be doing my makeup down here, but I just am checking to make sure I'm in the frame because last time I was out of the frame for basically the whole video and it was horrible. I posted it, but it's still on private and I haven't decided if I want to edit it or not. Um, first thing I'm going to start with is MAC Painterly Paint Pot to even out the lid. So wrong finger. I'm going to just pop that on. Now the idea with the reverse smoke eye, I'll get you guys up to speed on what that means. Um, is that the top is neutral. It can be any color of the rainbow that you want it to be, although those wouldn't be very neutral. Um, it could be any color that you want. Today I'm going to be using a darker shade. For a true reverse smoky eye, you want to use a light shade. You can even leave it just as painterly on the lid um, because you've already evened it out. You can just leave it like that if you want to. I'm not going to because I like to have a smoky, smoky effect. Um, even though it is a reverse smoky eye, basically you just don't use liner on the top lash line. And I like doing this because my eyes are rather small, in case you haven't noticed. So when I do liner, liner, they're just completely shut and they look even smaller. I'm like sweating a little bit because it's really hot in my room. So I put all my um, eyeshadows into one palette finally, just because I was bored one day and uh, playing with my palettes. So yeah, I'm going to use this shade right here. Some of these aren't really glued in. This is Satin Taupe. So I'm going to take some of that. I haven't really prepared brushes or anything. Um, this is a 239 or E55 from Sigma. It's just a flat shader. You can use the MAC one, whichever. It's just my clean one. So I pick that up. You can. This look is really easy with cream shadows too. I'd really recommend it with a cream shadow because that is super easy. You just literally just wipe it on and then do the bottom liner and you're good to go. And I do get some fallout with the powder shadow, so I'm going to do concealer afterwards after I clean up a little bit. I just pop it on kind of mess messily. And I just bring it through the crease. Really easy on the top. Nothing complicated at all. So 
So the next step is going to be to blend it out and I like to use a little bit of the actual shadow through the crease to help blend it instead of just not using it I guess you would say. So I just get a little bit on one of these 217, um, I think these are the E25s from Sigma. I basically only own Sigma brushes and some Ulta ones so don't mind that. And I'm not the greatest at tutorials, so I really apologize if these are not up to par. But a lot of you guys have been wanting to see makeup tutorials from me, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and do some tutorials of ones um, that I've been wearing in past videos. I just wiped a little bit of that off because over here it's like a line, so I need to make sure I blend that out. Um, so I wiped some of it off on a tissue so I don't have too much product. And that's basically it for the top. That's how I leave it. <clears throat> now for the bottom, I do some waterline. I'm going to use the Cora Soft Eyeliner Pencil because it's my favorite. Um, I might... You know, I'm going to try to use the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes and give it another shot before I return it, just in case it actually is good. Took the shadow out a little too far there. Um, just in case it is really good, because, you know, I've heard it is. I'm just going to warm it up on the back of my hand first. So, you know, just scribble around a little bit. And then it kind of has a brown almost to it, which I like. Um, and then I'm going to take that along the waterline. And I get it in the roots of the lashes because I'm going to be smudging it out a lot. So it's really messy eyeliner. So just really messy in the lashes. The more messy it is, the more you're probably going to have to smudge it downward. My favorite brush to use is Dirty, so I'm going to wipe that off real fast. But it is the Sigma E65. I'm not eating today, and I'm really hungry. Okay, so it's just a little angled brush. And I take it, start smudging. You can also pop shadow on at this point. use your finger to smudge it out. And then once you've get, gotten it to a point where you like it, how it's smudged, I reline the waterline because you probably drug a little bit of it downward. And you want it to be pretty opaque on the waterline. Apparently today is going to be 101 with the chance of showers. That's just really strange. It's the weirdest, weirdest summer so far. Okay, next I'm going to take carbon from my palette. Sorry, I just don't want these to all fall out. Um, which is just the matte black from MAC. And then I take it, pull on my waterline just a little bit. You don't want to set your actual waterline just right on the roots of the lashes so it stays is where you want to set it and it'll make it a little bit more smoky when you use the powder. And I always like to set my eyeliner um, with a powder eyeshadow just to ensure that it stays, um, but also it does make it a little bit more opaque and smoky in that fact. You can also use a gel liner on the waterline if you are going to be gone for like a really long time, like a really long day, you can also do that. Okay, so that's it for the bottom liner. Next, I'm going to take a shadow to kind of warm up the look, which is my favorite part, because the bottom can look quite black, and the top of it is quite warm, and so I want to even it out. I take Era most of the time, although I have a lot of transitional colors in here that would work. Um, Era is this color right here. It's neutral brown. Any neutral brown will work. You want to make sure it's warm toned, though, so you don't want to have it too cool toned, although if it suits your skin color more that way, then by all means do that. I use this Lorac brush. It came in like a set. Um, it's my favorite. 
I don't know of any dupes for small eyes. For larger eyes, you can use a pencil brush from Sigma. These are just way too large for me, and it would get like in my bags, and that's not attractive. So I just take a small one and basically use it to kind of blend out the shadow that we just applied on top of the liner. And you can just kind of see how this eye is looking a lot more warmer underneath than this one. So that's why I really like it, is because it makes it more warm. Okay, since I'm not doing any false lashes today just because I don't want to be bothered with it, I'm just going to curl my lashes. Although I might add some later on, who knows. Just going shopping, it's nothing like, you know, super formal. And then I'm using the Bare Essentials Buxom Lash Mascara. Now, let's see, I already wiped away the shadow from the fallout. I'm going to take my concealer again. Sorry, my hair is a mess right now. And what I do is take the doe foot and tap a little bit on my finger, because you need hardly any of this concealer is really pigmented. And then just tap it where you think you need it. Especially in the inner corners, because it's a dark smoky eye on the bottom, you want to make sure your eyes still look open and bright. So putting concealer in the outer corner is a really good trick to fool people that you're not really wearing heavy makeup. I mean, obviously they can tell that you are, but it won't look like it's dragging your eyes down and closed. Let's see. Just make sure you use the right finger here. And then because I set the rest of my face with a powder, I definitely want to set under my eyes with a powder. So I'm going to take a, oh my gosh, I just hit my mirror. A 224 brush. Um, yeah, I don't know what the new name is. And then my Mineral Skin Finish Natural again. Really easy. One last step to this process. I guess I can put my bangs down. Um... And that is my bronzer. I'm using my usual Corez Minoy oil bronzer. And every day, although tomorrow I'm getting a new bronzer brush, I'm really excited. Every day I use the F40 Sigma brush, the angled one. Let's put that right in my cheekbone. Looks like it's a lot on camera. It's not that much. This stuff wears off really easily during the day, too, so. I apply a little bit extra in the morning. And then for my everyday lips, I just use Creme de Nid. Just a very little bit, just to take down the color of my lips. So that is the tutorial. I hope you guys like the reverse smoky eye. If you want to see pictures of it, there will be some HD pictures of it on my blog. So link in the down bar. Also, I made a Facebook. Check it out. Like it. But that's everything for the Reverse Smokey. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.